Okay, how's everybody doing? I know it's getting cold in certain parts of the country. And it's going to get a lot colder too, so hopefully I'm staying warm. Got little Tomo on my lap right now, so. But anyways. You guys all remember this one, hopefully. The ransack viking knife which is kind of an awesome little knife hang on a second here there we go there we go got my light on now and it's a um pattern welded blade so good knife i like it but We have a new knife. This is from Deer Edge. Let me double check that. Yep, Deer Edge. They're on Etsy. And my wife got this because she would like the way it looked. And it's actually kind of cool. And the reviews, people love it, so. But let me show you the sheath first. It's, not, I mean, it's a regular leather sheath. Um, it's not very thick leather, as you can see, which is okay. Nice little thing is, like, the back rivets actually have little stars in them. So, it's a regular sheath. Nothing, like I said. It is real leather. Stitching's done good on it though, but this knife, <laughs> I gotta say, is very unique. I actually like it. Um, so here it is. It's kind of like a lightning bolt, which is kind of cool, and it is pattern welded. So, and each point here, 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 and then down here is all sharpened. Um, is it razor sharp? No, it's not razor sharp. Um, it is pinged at the bottom too. But it's, it's kind of a neat little blade. It really is. It's got one hell of a point on it too. Holy crap. But um, I do like folded and pattern welded blades. Um, this look cool. And you can see that's how thick it is. It's not a hefty blade. That's for sure. Because, well, both sides have been sharpened. So, but this thing is badass looking. The grind marks are really good on it too when they sharpened it. It's all real brass. And then it's got a pattern notched in there on either side of the brass. Has a comfortable grip. You can really grip it. And this little piece right here, you can actually put your thumb in there. So you can actually hold it like this which works really good or you can just hold it just like that and your finger sits in there really nice so yeah it's a cool little knife I like it my wife got it because it was unique and different and this thing couldn't have been easy to make that's for sure <clears throat> but it's all powder welded now Unfortunately, it doesn't give me the material. It just says Damascus. It's pattern welded, but semantics. Um, unlike this one from Ransack, this is a mixture of 1095, and I forget what the other metal is, but it's used a lot in pattern welding. So, which this is a sweet little knife. It's about 316 thick. 
This is a cool little knife. But yeah, this thing is wicked as hell. Definitely wouldn't want to be stabbed with this thing. It would hurt a lot. But yeah, my wife tries to find me like unique knives and pattern welded. Because we all see the knives that are out now and you know. It's all shiny and clean looking, you know. These are just cool as hell though. Because you just got that, you know, that pattern look to them. Let me turn this slide off. You just got that pattern look, which is hella cool. I like that. Gives a character, I think. Yeah, Deer's Edge. Check them out. Um, they got a few swords on there. Um, I would have to ask if they're functional swords or not, but they're all pattern welded. Everything they do is pattern welded. They got some Viking axes on there. Prices aren't bad neither. Kind of like um, ransacked Vikings. They got some good prices on their stuff too. They really do. And I know with Ransack Viking, they use 1095. I, I wish I could remember what the other metal it is that they use. It's a common metal they use with 1095 to do this type of stuff. So, I'm assuming... Because um, it says it's high carbon steel, so it's probably about 1095. It's probably done the same way as the Ransack Viking knife. So... But yeah, it's it's hell a cool little knife. Um, I didn't look up what the wood is, cause this one's uh, rosewood down here, and then ox um, horn. But yeah, it like I said, it's got a little bit of an edge. In I mean, ill cut paper. Is it razor sharp? Nah. The back end is not as sharp as the fronts, obviously. And then it fits really nicely in the sheath. It doesn't fall out. I like sheaths that actually put the closure on the side than right here because it keeps your knife from falling out. Normally when they put the snap right here, the blade still falls down. You know, it's kind of like this one. This one sits nice and snug up in there. But give you an idea here uh, how big this knife is compared to this one. The only difference is this one's a lot wider than this one, obviously. You can see it. But yeah. They feel about the same weight. So there's a place if anyone wants to check them out, go check them out. Or if you just like pattern welded knives, you know, for not nothing real like high tech. I mean, a couple places you can look. Etsy is actually, a lot of, I know a lot of people go with eBay, but Etsy's got a lot of dealers on there. Um, lot creators and then they also carry like a lot of sword dealers too which is kind of nice and sometimes the same sword dealers on eBay will be on Etsy and sometimes on Etsy you can get it cheaper than on eBay because everybody's bidding on eBay so a little tip there if they're on eBay check see if they're on Etsy and vice versa and you'll probably find um, price differences. Same company, but different prices. Um, like Hanbon, they've got their website and they're on Amazon. Uh, on Amazon, it's cheaper to buy from them than from their site. Little, like I said, a little tip there. But that's all I got for you guys, the lightning bolt. 
pattern welded knife. And uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.